How's it going, YouTube? I'm going to tone my voice down. So for today's video, I have Aki Charging Brick, a 10K fast charging portable charger, and the Aki Basics Pro Series, which is a wireless charging. I'll start off with a 20 watt power delivery wall charger. Whoa, this thing is super small. And look how tiny this little 20 watt power delivery. So it's not going to be taking a lot of room. I do notice that it has an orange look inside for the type C connection, which my last charger is by Anchor, and you can see the difference here. As you already know, the iPhone 12 and up will not come with charging bricks in the box. You will have to buy them separately, and this Aki will have more power delivery in the same form factor of the old charger brick it used to be included. This is the 10,018 watt fast charging power bank. 24 Aki Care, ooh, heavy. It's a type C connection. I like the size already. Pretty small, but it's packed. You can feel how heavy this thing is in the hand. Comfortable to hold, and you can see that that's where we can plug in the USB-A. And on the back side is a power delivery in and out, so you can charge this and also give charge off the same connection. A 10,000 milliamp hour battery on a 3,000 milliamp hour phone could charge it up to two and a half times. A Pixel 5 with a 4,000 milliamp hour battery could charge it up to two times. I like the look and the style, and you can see that there is a button right here, so you can press and there's actually only one light lit up, which means it's only 25% charged. I do have my Type-C here in handy, and I will plug it in. Onto the Basics Pro Series. This is a wireless charger. You're gonna get a holographic Pokemon, I mean, warranty information. A fatty manual again. We're good to go with Type-C. And here we go, another 10,000 milliamp hour battery in this form factor of a phone. This is information on the back telling you that you can fold these out to make a little prop and it'll create a stand pretty thin profile which is pretty nice to hold in the hand as well and you can see that there is a little tab here that we could pull out as well do this you have a phone holder and you have a phone dock as you can see the top has a USB A connection with a type C and five dots for LED indication the last thing we have is one power button click it and we can see there's an orange indication and we are at 75% capacity. The last thing, if you've noticed, that there is a little rubber grip here and that's gonna be the indication to wireless charge. So in order to activate that wireless charge, we wanna see the orange button. And now we're gonna set it, forget it, and we're wireless charging. So while this is charging wirelessly, you could play your videos while charging. You could even pick up the phone, flop that down put that away as weird as that may seem still one-handed hold it all and wireless charge if you don't want to mess around with cables the cable is obviously included the same information on the bottom telling us that it's charging and not wireless charging this time so if you don't want to hold this brick and maybe have a longer cable so once the device is plugged in to charge it will not wireless charge so let's take it off right here and it still says it's charging wirelessly so it does know the difference when you take it on or off. And for the iPhone side, we still have the same option to wireless charge. So we can set that there. And we are wireless charging. So we have a portable wireless charger and a phone stand in one. So yeah, these two hold the same 10,000 milliamp hour battery inside, but this is a fast charging and this is a wireless charging with a phone stand. So you have some choices here. And there you guys have it. If you want for yourself, you already know what to do. Find it in the description down below. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Dude. Oh, are you recording? Yeah. Let me call you back in like in five minutes because I'm almost done. I'm wrapping up right here. Because okay. I can start talking like this like I normally do. It's a lot more energy and it sounds maybe a little bit more exciting. I am going to ask you guys in another video when I hit my 10 year. It's coming up here in the next uh, 20 days. I'll be 10 years doing YouTube. So anyways, I think these are going to be really cool options for you to pick from. But yeah, that's it for me. Go get your charge on. Later.